Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about hydraulic press. So let's look at the example first. Hydraulic press. A metal bar is held in fixture and shaped by three hydraulic press operations. When push button is pressed for the first time, hydraulic press 1 presses it. And when push button is pressed for the second time, hydraulic press 2 presses in. And then when push button is pressed for the third time, hydraulic press 3 presses in. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will also use some memory bits. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for hydraulic press machine. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here, is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line, where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus ASCII TMH2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMH2GDB for now. And then I will click on Apply. So if I keep protocol as TMH2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, 
I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as push button. Yes. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. Sorry. We'll use a memory bit here. So M0. And then I will add it here. I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to this normally open contact same as the memory bit M0. So when push button is pressed and released, M0 will turn on. And then I will add a new rung here and insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as M0. And then I will insert a normally closed contact. And I will assign address to it as I0.1. Sorry, 0, 0.0. That is a push button. And then I will insert a coil. And I will assign address to the coil as M1. And then I will add it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact here. And I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to it as M1. So when push button is turned on, M0 will be on. And when M0 will be on and push button is released, then M1 will be true. And M1 will remain true even when the states of these inputs will change. So this M1 will store the data that the push button is once pressed and released. So this M1, we will use it to activate hydraulic press 1. So we will insert one more rung here and I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I, sorry, M1. And then I will insert a coil. I will assign address to it as Q0.0. And I will also add symbol to it as hydraulic press 1. So this M1 gets true when the push button is once pressed and released. So on second press and release, the hydraulic press 2 should turn on. So for that, I will add a new rung here and then I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M1. And then I will insert one more normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I0.0. And then I will insert a coil. And I will assign address to the coil as M2. So I will add it here and I will connect it like this. I will assign address to this normally open contact as M2. So when M1 is true, it becomes true when the push button is once pressed and released. When it is again pressed for the second time, M2 becomes true. And then we will add a new rung here. And I will insert a normally open contact one normally close contact and then a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M2 and I will assign address to this normally close contact as I 0.0, .0 which is a push button. 
that M2 is storing the push button is pressed and this will be true when push button is released and then M3 will be true and then we will add it here and I will connect it like this. So M3 is storing the data that already the push button is already pressed one time and now this M2 is storing the data that the push button is again pressed for the second time and released. Then M3 becomes true and then we will add this M3 here. M3. So we will use this M3 to turn on to activate hydraulic press 2. So for that I will insert one more rank here. So I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M3 and address to the coil as Q0.1. I will also add symbol to it as hydraulic press 2. Yes. And then on the third press and release, hydraulic press 3 should turn on. So for that, I will add a new rank here and will insert normally open contact. And then one more normally open contact and then a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M3, which is storing the data that the push button is being pressed two times and released. And then I will assign address to this as I0.0. .0. So when we are pressing, the push button for the third time. When pressed for the third time, output M4 will get true and we will add it here. So I will connect it like this. I will assign address to it as M4. And then I will add one more rung here. And I will insert a normally open contact, normally close contact, and then a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M4, and I will assign address to it as I0.0. .0. That is, M4 is pressed and push button is released. Then M5 will become true. This memory bit will store the data that push button is being pressed and released for the third time. And then I will latch it here. And then I will connect this like this. And I will assign address to it as M5. And we will use this M5 to activate hydraulic press 3. So I will insert one more rank here, add a new rank here and I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. So I will assign address to it as I, sorry, M5 and then address to this coil as Q0.2. I will also add symbol to it as hydraulic press 3. Yes. So, when push button is pressed, M0 gets on and when M0 gets on and push button is released, M1 gets true. And when M1 gets true, hydraulic press 1 gets activated. And then, M1 is already true and then the push button is once again pressed and M2 gets true and when M2 gets true the push button is released then the M3 gets true so this M3 stores the data that
the push button is being pressed two times and then released. So this M3 will turn on hydraulic press 2. So as already M3 is true that storing the data that the push button is pressed and released two times and now when push button is pressed for the third time M4 gets true and when M4 gets true and the push button is released then M5 gets true and when M5 gets true which is storing the data that the push button is being pressed three times then it will turn on hydraulic press 3. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program and then I will go to commissioning and launch simulate. After launching simulator, I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen. So when push button is pressed for the first time, then M0 gets true, and when M0 gets true, and then when push button is released, then M1 gets true, and when M1 gets true, hydraulic press 1 gets activated. And then as already M1 is true, then when push button is again pressed, then M2 gets true, and when M2 is true, the push button is released. Then the current will flow through it and M3 will get on. So this memory bit gets true when the push button is pressed two times and then released. So this M3, that is the push button is pressed and released two times, will turn on hydraulic press two. And then when M3 is true and push button is pressed for the third time, then M4 gets true and when M4 gets true here uh, this is a normally close contact so it should be off to turn to turn or uh, true M5 so when I release the push button M5 gets true and when M5 gets true which is storing the data that the push button is being pressed and released three times, then which in turn will activate hydraulic press three. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.